Echoes, just like the seasons that preceded it, brought a new suite of craftable weapons to the loot pool alongside the new episodic content and quests and activities. Included in this suite of weapons is the new 180 hand cannon, the Sightline Survey. And uh, say what you want about the episodic model, I know I have my opinions on it, but I will definitely give credit where it's due. Bungie knew what they were doing with this weapon, they carefully planned out the Sightline Survey when it comes to the relationships between the perks and the stats, so that they could have a clear and definitive purpose within a saturated archetypal family of hand cannons, allowing it to do things that most 180s can't, shine in ways others don't, while also giving it the option of just being another 180 that does what 180s do, if that's your fancy too. So, today I'm going to break this thing down and show why it's so special. Let's get the basics out of the way first. The Sightline Survey is an arc precision frame 180 hand cannon that goes in the energy slot. 180s have a notably long time to kill when it comes to optimal TTKs. They take four shots to put somebody down and uh, they also have short range in PvP. But their identity has always been about kill chaining. So they usually are loaded with damage perks like Kill Clip, Rampage, Adrenaline Junkie, things of the sort. While also having perks like Killing Wind and a Rapid Hit in the other slots. So you can couple them together and just chain kills. They also have deep magazines. So Bungie really made them with the purpose of being kill chaining weapons in sixes. That's like their whole identity. That's why they've always been much more popular in sixes than they've ever been in comp or trials. And Sightline Survey, it can be what other 180s are easily. It's got things like Encore, Kill Clip, if that's what you want to do with it. But it's also loaded with other options that actually take this thing into waters most 180s can't touch. It's actually designed to be a really good raw dueling weapon. More on that in a second. Let's talk base stats real quick. I've always been a big fan of the Posterity, it's another craftable arc 180 hand cannon, so basically same slot, same energy type. If we're comparing apples to apples, here's what we see. The Sightline Survey has less range than the Posterity, less stability than the Posterity, less handling, less reload, less aim assist, worse recoil than the Posterity. I mean, just looking at the base stats alone, I have to fully admit and be completely transparent with you that the Sightline Survey is clearly lacking. There's no way around it. If we were to just judge the weapon off of its base stats alone, we'd be tossing this thing into the dumpster immediately because it objectively is worse in that regard than the posterity. I mean, heck, even the focusable 180 hand cannon from the Crucible, the uh, Survivor's Epitaph, has a better stat package and an absolutely juiced perk pool as well. So why would you ever want to even consider using the Sightline Survey? Well, the answer is in the perk pool. In the first column, we've got perks that directly boost the base stats. We've got Keep Away, Triple Tap, Fragile Focus, Air Trigger, Enlightened Action to the Pain, and Strategist. If you want to chain kills like 180s normally do, you're obviously going to go with Enlightened Action. You could even go with uh, To the Pain as well. But if you want to make this thing a compelling dueling hand cannon, you have a lot of options here. There's Keep Away, which gives you 10 range and 30 reload speed when enemies are, uh, aren't are aren't right on top of you, while also reducing the effects of Bloom. This is sort of a no-brainer, amazing perk for dueling. You get more range, you get more accuracy, you get faster reload speeds. You've also got Fragile Focus, which gives you a plus 20 range buff while your shields are intact. That's a huge buff. Then there's To the Pain, which will start dramatically increasing your aim assist and handling speeds as you take damage. And then there's even Strategist for that massive stability buff uh, after casting your class ability. Honestly, I feel like there are several good choices here. There really are. But if I had to pick just one that has the most bang for your buck, it's got to be Enhanced Keep Away, and that's what I crafted mine with. In the second column, here's what we've got. There's Volt Shot for PvE ad clearing builds. There's Kill Clip for kill chaining in PvP. There's Opening Shot for more range and accuracy on that first shot of your volley. We've got Precision Instrument for increasing precision damage as you land precision hits. We've got Encore for kill chaining, Desperate Measures for kill chaining, and Eye of the Storm for raw dueling. But there's a definite winner in this column that breaks the mold for 180s. They've always been about getting that 4-tap kill and then earning the follow-up 3-tap kills as a reward. But there's one perk that says, nah, why don't we just let you 3-tap with a 180 up front with no kill required to activate it? 
It'll just be a thing that you can do in every engagement. Well, usually, with some exceptions. There's a resilience check here, and that's undeniably a drawback. But with Precision Instrument, you are going to do 71 to the head on your first shot, 74 to the head on your second shot, and 78 to the head on your third shot. That comes out to 225 damage to a target, which will kill many Guardians outright with three shots, making the TTK extremely scary in PvP. It'll outgun 140s, it'll outgun 120s with ease in that scenario. The only problem is that some Guardians spec for high resilience in PvP, and that will make it so that Guardians with 226 to 230 HP will survive unless you do something else to help push it up over the hill. You could use Surge mods. One Surge uh, will make it so that you do 223 damage uh, in your three taps, so any resilience will die there. You could use the Mask of Bacchus, which will do the same. It'll allow you to bypass all resilience checks. But Precision Instrument is clearly the play here. You can end up with a 180 that can push into three tap territory without having to earn it with a kill first. Then there's also the origin trait, Radial Area Transposer. So multi-kills with this thing will spawn a pool of Radial Arian Fluid that does damage to enemies that step into the goo. It uh, spawns on double kills. It's pretty nice. You know, it comes in handy a couple times a match. Ultimately, here's the verdict though on the sightline survey from me. I cannot in good faith recommend any kill chaining builds with this weapon. If you want a 180 hand cannon designed to chain kills, you are looking in the wrong spot. There are half a dozen that do it better than the Sightline does, including the Posterity, which absolutely eclipses the Sightline in base stats while also having access to Killing Wend and Rampage for those crispy follow-up three taps and sick kill chaining potential. If you're looking for a Volt Shot ad clearing PvE gun, I cannot recommend this one either. The Raid Bow has Volt Shot, it's disgusting. There's the Ikelos SMG for that same purpose and similar range. And there's the Brigand's Law, which can stun overloads with Volt Shot and Unstoppables just for being a sidearm. Then, of course, you've got the Volt Shot Indebted Kindness. This cannot hold a candle to those options. There's just one thing to do with it. You craft it with Keep Away and Precision Instrument and do the one thing that it does that other 180s can't do, and that is Duel. And that, that is the review. I hope you enjoyed the honest and thorough breakdown of the Sightline survey. If you found the video helpful or entertaining, then please consider leaving a like as that's the best free way to support the content here on YouTube. And consider subscribing for additional Destiny 2 content. If you also like the snipes in this video, those were done with the new Raid Sniper, the Critical Anomaly. So mine has Snapshot and Opening Shot and it's incredibly sticky. More so than it should be with just 48 aim assist. I may have to do a video on it specifically. Anyway, thanks for tuning into the channel today. I sure do appreciate your support and your viewership. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.